Okay, hi everybody. We'll introduce ourselves first. I am Melissa Stark, and this is Ron Finley, the gangster gardener, and we're going to find out all about I that. You said we were going to introduce ourselves. Okay, you introduced yourself. You just yourself. introduced okay, me. You introduced so, yourself. I am Ron Finley, the gangster gardener. Okay, I think I just said that, right? <laughs> so, what is a gangster gardener? A gangster gardener, just like a gang, a real, and where we from, when somebody did something that was badass, or somebody did something that was innovative, what we, we would say, that's gangster. Like, that was the biggest compliment. So I think I've inspired people literally like, all over the world to start gardening. And that's, that's, it's like people ask me, you know, do you still garden? I'm like, yeah, I do. But now I have people in, I got, like I, I said in my talk, I have these kids in India, 12-year-old, and an 11-year-old brother and sister calling themselves gangster gardener. What's the value? And are you literally a gardener? No, I just play one on TV. <laughs> I just play one on Facebook Live. Yes, I'm a gardener. So this is Dr. Susan Blum. I am Melissa Stark, and we're at the WE Forum, which is a, really an incredible organization that was started by women. It's all women volunteers, and it's really about health and wellness and changing our behavior. Yes. So we have an autoimmune expert, a uh, preventative medicine and chronic disease specialist. The issue, the thing about food, though, is that we need to help make food more accessible, healthy food choices yes. more accessible to people. It's very easy to just tell people, do this, do this, do this. Yeah. But my message is also about skill building. You know, teaching people how to go do it. Hi everyone, I am Melissa Stark, and we are joined by Joel Salatin, a farmer who's come all the way from the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia, to talk to us here at the WE Forum about health and wellness and how we can make changes. And I listened to you talk, it was amazing. Uh, so should we all become farmers? No, we don't all need to be farmers. Okay. No, but, but we can participate vicariously. Uh, for the first time in human history, kids routinely don't have chores. Right. And, and I don't mean chores like make your bed. Uh, or, or, or put your dirty clothes in. Oh, okay, because I was thinking, I, mine do. I make the bed. They do right. the dishes. But, but I'm talking about chores like like uh, filling the wood like box. Like hard labor, uh, working. Uh, weeding the green beans. Hi, everyone. I am Melissa Stark, and I'm with Phoebe Lapine, who is a gluten-free chef and a best-selling author. The Wellness Project. This book, the Wellness yes. Project. The Wellness yeah. Project. We're going to talk all about it. Uh, we're at the WE Forum. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, when I was 22. And at the time, I had no idea what any of that meant. You so still look 22, by the way. Oh my God. <laughs> Bless you. That was over 10 years ago. Okay. Um, but anyway, it kind of catapulted me into this unexpected health yeah. journey for me and Hashimoto's people. Gluten is a big issue, and you know, you'll hear that across the board for a lot of people. And you're gluten free. I mean, obviously you're gluten free chef. I'm gluten free chef, well, yes, what's now. The, I mean, that that to me, they just told me that I should try gluten free, and that is just, it's so overwhelming yeah. to me. Is it not that bad? Um, it's not that bad these days. It definitely was a lot worse when I first went off seven or eight years ago. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I am Melissa Stark, and this is so much fun for me to be with Alexis Glick, who is emceeing this fabulous day here at We Forum. We used to work together at the Today Show, I and know, haven't seen each other so long. And here we are, eight, eight kids later. We look, we look much better. <laughs> <laughs> we look the exact same. Yeah, or if not better. You are CEO of Gen Youth, exactly. which is which is what. So Gen Youth is basically the largest health and wellness program in the United States. So our flagship program is called Fuel Up to Play 60, in which we are really enabling kids to lead a healthy lifestyle, to be healthy, high-achieving youth. So what we do is ensure that they get access to healthy meals and ideally active for up to 60 minutes a day. And as you know well from your NFL days, uh, one of our biggest partners is the National Football League and, believe it or not, America's Dairy Farmers. And then you walk in a room as a mother of three kids and you realize if we don't ensure that this next generation gets access to healthy meals, that we get them out of the sedentary lifestyle, this generation, our children, are not going to live as long as us. And when I heard that, that shook me to the core. Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately how I wound up becoming the CEO of this. Everybody, I am Melissa Stark, and this is Nadia Pinavaya. I said it right, right? Perfect. Because she's born Italian, she was raised in the UK, and now you're here. And I'm here. Go figure. Again. So you have all this wealth of knowledge from everywhere, but the way that she was introduced today at We Forum was from Wall Street to the kitchen. To the kitchen. <laughs> which is... <laughs> which is to rags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Okay, <laughs> hardly. Um, so, so tell us about your journey. So, um, so I grew up in finance. I got a geeky uh, PhD in quantum chemistry and then joined Wall Street. And then about four years ago, I 
discovered that it wasn't our fault and that um, I came to this country and um, I saw that the diet was very different. Uh, we had cancer in the family and so that, and I'd lost both my parents from a young age and so when my mother-in-law was diagnosed with cancer I started reading about food and nutrition, looking for that silver bullet. So, I mean, I, I, it's incredible um, the, the way food impacts our health and our lifestyle and our stress and everything. We're all talking about that here. We are at the WE Forum continuing our discussions with the amazing speakers here. We have Chef David Boulay, who I just sat front and center, and we're talking about health and wellness and changes that you can make in your lifestyle. And, and one of the things that really interested me that you said is you have some people that eat at a restaurant five times a week, they lose weight and they actually have more energy. The second is the composition of the foods. The, the foods themselves have a power and function, but yeah. you need the compounds around it to have absorption. What, what's the importance? I mean, and the food should just be varied. It should just be all different types of foods. Yeah, but they want to eat constantly all day long because we, our bodies, love to store food, store calories. And you kind of believe in fasting, right? I'm all about fasting. Fasting really? is the best way to, to energize your body build new cell growth, get rid of the expiring cells. Fasting, your body's gonna eat. It's like some people in the office, they rush through lunch and they contract in, or they're busy with the kids or whatever, they forget to eat. Oh my God, I forgot to eat at five o'clock. No, you did eat. You ate some of your stored fat cells. That's why they're there. Oh, well the celebrities have rolled in now here at the Wii Forum. We have David Deal, who of course won two Super Bowls with the New York Giants. And it's so great to see you because we, I, I am Melissa Stark, by the way, and cover the NFL and have worked for many years with his dear, dear friend on the yeah. offensive line, Sean O'Hara. Yeah, yeah, so we've had that relationship and then I've done Total Access when I was a player to go out when I was coming out to LA. That's a right, on NFL Network. Yeah, yes. exactly. So we go way, way wait, back. And you're in by far, by far our nicest dress. Oh, yes. well, I thank so you wait, very much. So tell us why much. you look so nice. I, uh, I just left uh, the New York Giants facility. Mm -hmm. I uh, did some breakdowns inside the film room of the last two minute drive up against San Francisco. They just won. And then just kind of a preview for the Tampa Bay game. And then this morning I did from 7 a.m. to 11 my serious radio show, The Opening Drive, at which I do every Wednesday. So we are at the We Forum. We're going to talk yep. about health and wellness and, and what brings David here. So here we are again at the We Forum. We're talking about health and wellness and how you can make changes in your life. What what brings you here? Well, number one, my relationship with RWJ Barnabas Health, which is one of the sponsors. Uh, I am a, a brand ambassador for the healthcare system. I go out to different uh, communities, whether it's in Tom's River, whether it's rec centers, whether it's in high schools or grade schools, talking about kids, about goal setting, about making sure that they take care of their priorities now because the habits they create now will last forever, not just the way that they approach school, but the way that they approach life and making sure that they eat properly yeah. and take care of themselves. And then also, I do the Morehand, which is the Health and Wellness Awareness Center, which we do all the cardiac and concussion screening for the state of New Jersey, from grade school all the way up to high school, where we get the baseline testing for the kids. So that way, if they do unfortunately receive a yes. concussion, their parents know what the yes. return to play protocol is that and where is they're so, at. That's so, that's so, my, my yeah. son plays freshman football here uh, locally in New Jersey and they have, I mean, that's so important to have, especially with all the talk, you know, as of late, unfortunately, with concussions of course. And, and with the NFL. Um, so, so, another thing, you know, which I noticed with working with Sean is when you transition out of playing football, right? Yeah. And, and you don't have to put on all that weight. I no mean, your, your diet, I mean, you, you, I'm sure you, you guys know a lot about diet because you've got to, you know, trim down yeah. and, and get back to the normal civilian uh, no kidding. lifestyle. When I retired uh, in February of 2014, I was 313 pounds. February of 2016, two years later, okay. I was 259 pounds. No so, you know, it, it's something that, you know, as an athlete and as an offensive lineman, you yeah. need that weight yes. in order to maintain during the football season and hit some big bodies you on do. the other side. You need it then, but then you don't but need it. But the minute that you're done, you have to get out of that routine. Right. Our final interview here today for We Forum, it's so appropriate that we have the founder and my good friend, Carolyn Desena. How did you come up with this? Well, they asked me to put on a lunch and, or a gala or a golf outing, and I said, you know, I think there are a lot of people in town. Who's they? Model Medical Center. Okay. And all this information was out there. It was almost like too much information, and I didn't know how to sit through it. And I said, you know, how about we have a lunch where we can provide our guests with access to a lot of doctors to answer a lot of questions for us so that we don't have to go searching for them. 